Hey guys, welcome to TA Tech. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to make Call of Duty Warzone run really well on your Steam Deck. So there are two things I'm gonna do, changes inside the game and changes outside the game. So you may be already familiar with the changes I make outside the game, so if you've done these already, just skip them and use the timeline below. So the first thing I'm gonna do is change the UMA buffer. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have done that because it's been really popular, but I'm just still gonna show it. You go to the settings and you go to Windows Updates. You need to scroll down and find Advanced Settings, and then at the end you'll see recovery, press on that and then you'll see advanced startup. Press on that and your Steam Deck will restart into advanced startup. Alright, so after your Steam Deck restarted, now you are in advanced startup. You need to choose where it says troubleshooting. And then after that, press on advanced settings and after that you need to press where it says UEFI and then it will restart into advanced startup where you can change the UMA buffer. So after you get to this menu, click on this option. After you click on it, a new menu will show up and you need to find where it says advanced and then you need to scroll down where it says UMA frame rate buffer. Here you need to change it to 4 gigabytes. It's usually on 1 gigabyte, so make sure you change it and then press save changes and restart your Steam Deck. So let's go to the next one, which is changing the page in virtual memory. Make sure you have more than 15 gigabytes in your SSD before you do this. So let's go to where it says the Windows Explorer down there, and then you need to find this PC. Make sure you don't press on this one, because this one's not gonna let you do it. You need to scroll down and find this PC here. Right click on it and press properties. After that, you need to go on advanced system settings, and then at the top, you'll find where it says performance. Uh, press on that and then press on settings. Then you'll see where it says advanced, and then you will see where it says virtual memory. As you can see, I have 10 gigabytes. It's usually two gigabytes, and then you need to go here and change it to 10 gigabytes. You can change it to 15 if you have enough space. After that, you need to save the changes and then restart your Steam Deck for the changes to take effect. So this is the last step I'm gonna do outside the game. So I need AMD settings for that. If you don't have those, I left the link for it in the description below if you wanna check out how to get the AMD settings on your Steam Deck. So after that, you need to go where it says Call of Duty Modern Warfare, this is your game. And then you need to um, scroll down and find where it says Advanced. So Advanced is there uh, in the bottom left. Press on that and then scroll down again where it says uh, surface format optimization. Press on that, make sure it's enabled, and that's it, what you need to do with the AMD settings, and then you need to do the changes now inside the game. So I'm gonna go with the settings that I have, I'm gonna scroll past them and just copy these settings. So make sure you have your full screen on full screen exclusive, and scroll down where it says um, uh, dynamic resolution that turned off, make, make sure that's turned off, and then you need to go where it says frame rates, cap that to 60, the second one into 30, and the last one into 30 as well. Then I'm just gonna scroll down here, there's no more settings you need to change. Go to quality. So quality I play on basic, you can play that on a balanced as well, it's not gonna make any difference for me, I tried. But the thing is, I do like to play on basic, it's, uh, the game is more clearer. So choose balanced or basic, that's entirely up to you. The next one is uh, you need to change it to uh, off the upscaling. I don't need upscaling here. And then you need to change the anti-aliasing to SMA uh, 12X. And then this is a big one. This a lot of people think you need to give the game more memory for it to run well, but in our case we need to give it less memory so the device does not get overwhelmed. So make sure this is at 70, 60 will not play well, 90 will not play well, so make sure it's at that. You can copy these settings, but as I said, you can play on balanced. I'm just gonna go through them. If you wanna copy them, I'll play on basic because the game is more clearer. Just um, pause here whenever you want and uh, copy the settings they have. But there is a big one you need to change here. It's the spot shadow quality. Make sure this is at medium. And the next one is a spot cache. Uh, this one you need to make it uh, ultra. So after you change this to ultra, you're gonna have uh, the first game being laggy. After that, it's gonna be small sailing. So the one after this, I'm gonna go down to uh, other settings so you can copy them. But uh, the most important ones to change the memory and to change the spot cache. To ultra these are the most important ones in the game uh, also make sure to change the frame rate cap to 60 this is also very important as i said you can play on balance and you can play on basic so what i'm gonna do now is just run a dmz game just to show you the improvement after the changes we made 
So after the DMZ has loaded up, let's look at the frame rate first. Let me just focus on it. Here you'll get the frame rate at 60 or 59, but sometimes it will drop to 50, but not below 50. Of course, our goal here was to get rid of the stuttering because this game stutters a lot. But as you can see here, the game is running really smoothly. There's no stuttering at all, and you will not face any of it inside this game. So that's it for me, guys. I hope this video was useful to you. And if you have any questions, make sure to comment them below and I'll answer you. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe and peace.